everybody, welcome to Amanda Land, and today's episode, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to review the Madame X Tour, Madonna's Madame X Tour. Unfortunately, I did not get to experience this live. I really, really wish I could have because it looked like an amazing show. Now, I have watched spoilers and little clips that Madonna posted online that were officially released because, as we all know, Madonna didn't allow, you know, cell phones or cameras, which was which is kind of cool. I would have been bummed that I couldn't, you know, record it if I was there live, but hey, it is what it is. But anyway, so it's streaming now on Paramount Plus, and let me tell you, I'll give a spoiler alert. I thought it was fantastic. Uh, 10 out of 10, Madonna, she could basically do no wrong, really, but I do have some issues with it and some critiques, so let's get to it. All right, so the start of the concert, I, you know, I turned it on my TV, and I snuggled down and got ready to watch it, and I, I personally thought it started out kind of slow. Now, I'm used to, well, I shouldn't say used to, but I'm, well, I guess I'm used to or more accustomed to Madonna coming out, guns blazing, just dancing her ass off, breaking a sweat, and it just seemed like a really slow start. Probably didn't help that it was God control, was one of the first songs, and I don't personally like that song. I, it's good. It's a good song, good message behind it, but I just mm, didn't really like it. I did like how she incorporated the old school images, like that uh, blonde ambition interview. I I I thought that was cool. I thought that was really neat and uh, nice to see. Now when it went into human nature, and she brought out her kids, and you know all the dancers on the stage. Correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't that seem like that should have been at the end of the concert? That was more like a, like a, um, encore type thing. Like, hey, here's my kids, we're dancing. I was, you know, that came, that happened. I'm like, oh, the show's over, that's it, you know? And again, there was not a lot of, I'm used to Madonna busting her ass, and she, I'm sure she, it was hard. I, I probably couldn't do what she did, but it just seemed like kind of, she was just kind of going through the motions. Well, not really going through the motions. It just wasn't so high energy. That's it. High energy. It just wasn't there. And then with Human Nature and all the kids, great that they came out, but it just kind of, eh, okay, show's over. But no, it continued and it did get better. Now, while I was watching Madame X on Paramount Plus, I don't think the t my TV, I got a nice, not to my own horn, but I got a nice TV and I really don't think it did it justice. Or maybe it was the editing and adding the visuals because we all know like her um, confessions tour that was highly edited with lots of sparkles and you know whatever but I don't think Madame X on TV did it real justice. It just looks like it would be a fantastic show in person. Comment down below if you did if you were lucky enough to see her live for Madame X and tell me if I'm wrong or right or whatever but the visuals and the background images were just so perfect and so I like how they edited and incorporated it in this uh, broadcast. Now let's let's move on to Madonna's vocals. Now her vocals were good. I now I'm no vocal expert and we if you've been on my channel long enough you know I can't sing. I did like her vocals during the Fado song. I thought they were fantastic. She sounded amazing. Um, I keep on going back to the background images, the screenshots and, you know, what was going on, the projections onto the stage. I just, it was fantastic. The way she did it was beautiful. And I, I wish I could have saw it in person, but, you know, we all can't, you know, see her live all the time. I know there's a lot of my subscribers, subscribers out there that have not seen her live, so they feel my pain. But I just... I wish I could have saw it live. I think it would have been a lot better. Now, there were a couple good songs and a couple bad songs. The only bad song that I really didn't like and you just cut it out was God Control. I didn't, I don't like that song. I really don't. I, I don't know what it is about that song. It just, it irks me. Does that make any sense? But yeah, that was the only bad song. Good song, Vogue. That was a good performance, crazy. I do love that song uh, from the album and seeing it live, that was even better. Mejeline, Mejeline. I cannot say that name. I'm going to say it like a total white girl, Medlin. But it's Medlin. 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 
sorry, I can't pronounce it. Okay, now frozen, frozen, oh, frozen. I loved the whole imagery, the whole the way she presented it. That was by far top 10, number one, favorite part of that show was Frozen. See, Madonna, out of all the little different personas that Madonna had during Madame X, my favorite is this one. See my shirt? And having her on stage with her daughter behind her, I get chills. It's just, it was beautiful. The way she was singing and the, the dancing, just fantastic. Going back to the vocals, another one, another song that her vocals were like on point was Like a Prayer. Now Madonna has a lot of practice singing Like a Prayer because she sings that almost every time she's performing live, even, you know, if she's out in the streets or whatever. Like a Prayer, her vocals, on point, awesome, 10 out of 10. Now watching her concert, it was good. It was fantastic. Again, I can't stress that enough. But I do miss Madonna just out there breaking a sweat, going a thousand times per mile, a thousand times per mile. That supercharged Madonna, just dancing, busting in her ass and just working hard and just go, 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 go. It just seemed like it was more laid back. Maybe that was the point behind Madame X. That's what she was going for and what she meant to do. I just personally, as a fan, love seeing Madonna dance and move and constantly go. It just seemed it was a little more laid back. Again, that's probably what she's going for, being a small venue and whatnot. But that's one, one little bad check, check mark, was that she was not, you know, breaking a sweat. Also, there could have been underlying things. I know she had, like, a bad hip. God, how old do you feel now, all you Madonna fans out there? Madonna had a bad hip. Yes, we all age. It is what it is. Okay. Now, as you can tell by my videos, I'm no expert on editing, and I don't claim to be, never will be. As a matter of fact, my lighting, for example, is probably not fantastic. I've got the light from my room. That's it. Should get. I should re, uh, should invest in one of those ring lights or one of those. I know it probably would help my videos, but oh well. This is me. Imperfect lighting. Anyway, going back to the editing. The editing, and she did this back on the Sticking Street, Sticking Street, Sticky and Sweet tour, and all the most recent releases of her tours. The editing seems really choppy. It's like blurb, blurb, clip, 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 clip. I just wanted them to, being a Madonna fan, focus on Madonna. We're all here to see Madonna. Just focus on her singing, like, just a little longer, longer than two seconds. You know, it's like Madonna. Ooh. Madonna, another image. Madonna, focus on her. That's what we're all here to see. I just felt it was really choppy. And yeah, would have liked to see more of Madonna, not just everything else. I'd like to see everything else, but more Madonna. <laughs> Don't know if that's, you know, making sense to you, but yeah. Too choppy. Too choppy of images. Now, another good point of the, my another good point I want to take away from watching this tour or this concert is Madonna was at her best, I think, when she was interacting with the audience. She was actually she was actually funny. Um, sometimes she's not funny and she tries too hard to be funny, but she was it was a good interaction with the crowd and I'm kicking myself. I would have loved to have been there. Maybe front row, maybe she would have talked to me. Um, but yeah, I thought she was great there. Okay, so overall, final bottom line. My review of the Madame X tours, two thumbs up, uh, five stars, 10 stars, hundred stars, million stars. It was fantastic. Now I just want her to release it so we can buy it. So I can watch it on my phone whenever I want. I will admit I did get the free trial of Paramount Plus just to watch the concert. After my trial was up, I canceled it because I don't need another streaming service. I've got Disney Plus. I've got, uh, Netflix, I don't need another one, so I watched it during the free trial, free trial, and then I canceled. Um, so yeah, as soon as it's available on iTunes, I trust and believe I will be buying it. Um, now the audio version of the concert, of course, I've downloaded that in a heartbeat. Want her to release a hard copy, a CD, that would be amazing. And.
Okay, just re really quick, I want to touch on her appearance on the Jimmy Fallon Tonight Show. Loved it. She was great. Good trouble. Yeah, mm -hmm. you really do. Uh, no, 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 why would you? Madonna, Madonna? Stop, 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 stop it. Oh my heaven, stop it, stop it. I don't know what to do. Stop it right now, absolutely. This is Anything. Stop, like, stop. Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, I think her and Jimmy, they've got a good chemistry and they bounce off each other. It's just, it's great. I love seeing her on that show and she should do more talk shows, in my opinion. Hell, she should have her own talk show. Who all out there would watch a late night with Madonna? That would be cool. Um, yeah, I'd watch that. All right, so that's my quick little review here of the Madame X tour. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I've been kind of absent to the channel uh, in this past couple weeks. I've just been super busy at work. Um, so I haven't had time to really devote myself to a, a video for you guys. I haven't forgotten. I do still have some Madonna collectibles to go through. Nothing, you know, amazing or anything. But I do still have some more stuff that I want to share with you guys. So I do hope you, if you haven't already, subscribe. So you can see it. You don't want to miss out on that. Um, still holding on to once I get a thousand subscribers, I'm going to uh, give away the Confessions Tour uh, Collectors collectors Edition. Yeah. Hold on. Again, this. Thousand subscribers. This will be given away. I, I promise you. This will be given away. Sealed. So I, I'm halfway there, kind of, sort of. 455 subscribers. Thank you very much. I appreciate every single last one of you. I do try to respond to every single comment and I appreciate you. Can't say that enough. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, again, like I always say, give it a big thumbs down. I don't care. It's your opinion. We're all entitled to it. And leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about the Madame X tour. Are we all glad that the Madame X era may be over? We can... Wait for her biop. I cannot wait for her autobiography. And I'm kind of curious about, you know, who might play her. If you have any ideas, you know the drill. Comment down below who you think would want, uh, should play Madonna. Do you think that maybe Lola should pit play Madonna younger? That might be interesting. Then again, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Whatever Madonna comes up with, I think will be amazing. So, anyway. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and we'll see you next time.